Hello everyone, this is your Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to see problems on Cartesian coordinates, that is coordinate geometry. Okay, so we are going to do these two problems. So let's get started with the first one. So first one, find the distance between the points minus 4 comma 3 and 2 comma minus 3. Solution. So we are given two points. So the distance d equals to. We know that the formula d equals to square root of x2 square minus sorry x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Okay. We are given two points minus four comma three consider as x1 y1. First one is x coordinate. The first number is x coordinate and the second one is y coordinate. So consider it as x1 and this as y1. Next we are having 2 comma minus 3. So consider it as x2 y2. Okay. So this is equals to square root of we are having x to 2 minus of minus 4 whole square plus y2 minus 3 minus you are having y1 is 3 whole square. Okay. So this is equals to square root of 2 minus of minus 4. 2 minus of minus 4 is equal to 2 minus 2 minus plus 4 which is equal to 6. 6 square plus minus 3 minus 3. Minus 3 minus 3 is equal to minus 6. Minus 6 whole square which is equal to 6 square is 36. Plus 36. This equals to square root of. You can write this 36 plus 36 as 2 times 36. Okay. So this equals to 2 into 36 can be written as 6 square. 6 is 36. Right. So this equals to root 2 into square root of 6 square. The square and root gets cancelled. So finally you will get 6 root 2. So the distance between these two points is 6 root 2. Okay. We consider two number lines x x prime y y prime 0 1 2 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and minus 4. So now we are going to plot these points. Minus 4, comma 3 lies at this position. Next, 2, comma minus 3 lies at this position. Okay, now join these. Two points. Okay. So the distance between these two points is 6 root 2. Okay. So now coming to the second problem. So this completes the first problem. Therefore, the distance between the two points is 6 root 2. Therefore, 
the distance between the given points is 6 root 2. Okay. Now coming to the second problem. Show that the following points A, B, C lies on the straight line. What does it mean? We have to show that the points lie on the straight line. It is nothing but the points are collinear. Okay. If all the points lie on the same line, then we call that the points are collinear. Okay. So, given points are solution. Given points A three comma one, B six comma four, and C eight comma six. Now we are going to find the distance between AB, BC, and AC. So distance between a comma b is equals to square root of consider it as x1 y1 x2 y2 so we are having the formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square now Substitute the values of x1, y1 and x2, y2. So, you will get 6 minus 3 whole square plus 4 minus 1 whole square which is equal to square root of 6 minus 3 is 3. 3 square is 9. 3 square plus 4 minus 1 is 3. Again, you will get 3 square. So, this is equals to square root of 3 square is 9 plus 3 square is 9. So, 9 plus 9, 18. So, the distance between A B is square root of 18. Okay, 9 plus 9 is 18. So, the distance between A B is 18. Now, we find the distance between B comma C which is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Okay. So you are having B equals to 6 comma 4. And C, 8, comma, 6. Consider it as x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay. So, you will get 8 minus 6 whole square, x2, 8, x1, 6. So, you will get 8 minus 6 whole square plus y2 minus y1, 6 minus 4 whole square. equals to square root of 6 minus sorry 8 minus 6 is 2 2 square plus 6 minus 4 is 2 2 square 2 square is 4 4 plus 4 is 8 so the distance between BC is 8 Distance between BC is square root of 8. Next we will find distance between AC.
A, 3 comma 1, and C, 8 comma 6. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So this is equal to square root of, you are having 8 in the place of X2, and X1 is 3. So you will get 8 minus 3 whole square plus y2 6 minus y1 1 whole square. So this equals to square root of 8 minus 3 is 5. 5 square plus 6 minus 1 is again 5. 5 square is 25 plus 25. So you can write it as. 2 times 25, square root of 2 times 25, which is equal to square root of 2 into square root of 25. So this is equal to square root of 2 into 5 square, you know that 5 into 5 is 25. So the square then root gets cancelled. So final answer is 5 times 5 into square root of 2. Okay, so distance between AC is 5 times, we got distance between AC is 5 root 2. Okay, now we'll write these two distances also in terms of root 2. Since so you are having distance between AB is equal to root 18. Root 18 can be written as 9 into 2 which is equals to root 2 into root 9. Again root 9 can be written as square root of 3 square. 2 and square gets cancelled and finally you will get 3 root 2. So the distance between AB is 3 root 2. And now distance between BC is root 8. Root 8 can be written as square root of 4 into 2 which can be written as root 4 into root 2. Root 4 can also be written as 2 square. Square root of 2 square 2 and root gets cancelled into root 2. So you will get 2 root 2. So distance between BC is 2 root 2. And we have distance between AC is 5 root 2. We can also write distance between AB as simply AB equals to and distance between BC as BC equals to and distance between AC as AC equals 2. Okay. Now if you add AB plus BC, what you will get? 3 root 2. Adding 3 root 2 plus 2 root 2, which is equals to 5 root 2, which is a AC. So therefore, AB plus BC equals to AC. Where is the point? The distance between AB plus the distance between BC is equals to AC. Okay? AB, AB plus BC is equals to AC, which is nothing but the given points lies on the straight line. Okay. So therefore therefore distance between AB plus distance between BC is equal to distance between AC 
das a comma b comma c lies on a straight line okay this completes the problem okay so we have done two problems in this video hope you will understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye